Hello children, let us begin with the line wise paraphrasing of Shakespeare's famous play The Merchant of Venice. Now the characters in the play are the Duke of Venice, the Prince of Morocco, the Prince of Aragon who are suitable suitors to Portia. Antonio is a merchant of Venice after whom the title of the play is kept. Bassanio, he is his best friend who is also a suitor to Portia. Graciano, another friend in love with Nerissa. Lorenzo is another friend in love with Jessica. Leonardo is servant to Bassanio. Salerino, Salanio, Salerio, they are other friends. Shylock is a rich Jew and a money lender. Jessica is Shylock's daughter. And Tubal is another Jew who is Shylock's very good friend. Launcelot Gobo is the clown of the play who is a servant to Shylock. Old Gobo is Launcelot's father. Portia is a rich heiress of Belmont. Nerissa is her lady-in-waiting or her maid. Balthazar and Stefano are servants to Portia. So apart from these, there are merchants, officers of the court of justice, gaoler, musicians, servants to Portia and other attendants. So the action of the play takes place in Venice and Belmont. Now this book, it follows the variety edition of the text. The characters Salerio and Salerino are said to be one and the same person. Salanio is also spelt as Solanio. So we begin with Act 1, Scene 1. The opening scene gives the exposition, the situation on which the story is based. Now exposition means explanation of a specific subject. So the opening scene gives us the explanation of the main subject being discussed on which the story is based. We are introduced to Antonio, the merchant, who gives the title to the drama. So in this we are introduced to Antonio who is the merchant after whom the title of the drama is given interest is heightened by showing him a melon in melancholic mood he is really in a very sad mood salarino and salanio his friends give various reasons for his sadness so his two friends salarino and salanio they give various reasons for his sadness and try to bring him out of it and they try their best to bring it bring him out of his sadness Bassanio, the closest friend of Antonio, asks for a loan from him in order to present himself as an eligible suitor to Portia. So Bassanio, who is the best friend of Antonio, he asks Antonio to give him a loan so that he can go and try to uh, present himself as an eligible. Eligible means a worthy suitor to Portia, who is a rich heiress of Belmont. Antonio's ships are still at sea. He has no ready cash with him, but he authorizes Bassanio to use his good uh, to use his good name for credit and get a loan from the money lenders. So at this moment, Antonio does not have any ready cash with him. All his he has invested his money in the ships and all his ships are still at sea. So he tells Bassanio that he can use his good name and try to get loan from other money lenders on his surety. So first act, scene, act 1 scene 1 the scene takes place in Venice a street and enter Antonio, Salerino and Salanio. So these three enter Antonio. In sooth, in sooth means truly speaking, I know not why I am so sad. I really don't know why I am feeling so sad. It varies me. It makes me very tired my sadness makes me tired you say it varies you and you tell me that it makes you sad but how i caught it but he says how i acquired this sadness how i found it or came by it came by it means how i got this sadness what stuff this made of what stuff it is apostrophes for missing i what stuff it is made of Whereof it is born. Whereof means how is it born? From where it is it, it is born? What is the origin of this sadness? I am to learn. I am yet to know. And such a want wit. Want wit means a dull or an absent-minded person. And 
this sadness makes me a totally absent minded person and a dull person that i have much ado to know myself that i have much trouble ado means trouble to know myself means to know who i am so salarino replies your mind is tossing on the ocean he says well my lord your mind your thoughts are tossing and turning over on the waters of the ocean there where your argosies argosies are big commercial ships on the waters of the ocean where your big commercial ships with portly sail they sail very stately in a magnificent manner like signiors signiors are like gentlemen and rich burghers on the flood rich burghers means important city citizens on the flood means sea as important citizens on the sea or as it were or as it were like the pageants of sea pageants of sea means magnificent processions on the sea do overpeer overpeer means they overtake the petty traffickers petty means the small traffickers means the small boats and the small ships they surpass or overtake the smaller boats that courtesy to them and those smaller boats they bow down in respect to them courtesy is bowing down in respect do them reverence and they are doing them reverence means showing them respect as they fly by as they means your big commercial ships as they fly by them as they move at a great speed on the side of the smaller boats with their woven wings with the woven wings are with their canvas sails as with their canvas sails as your ships are moving very fast from the side salanio believe me he says believe me sir had i such venture forth if i had such a business operation outside the better part of my affections would be with my hopes abroad if i had a business like this abroad the greater part better part means the greater part of my affections means my thoughts would be with my hopes abroad they would be with my ships on the sea i should be still plucking the grass then i would be holding the blade of the grass plucking the grass to know where sits the wind to see in which direction the wind is blowing peering in maps i would be looking carefully peering is looking carefully in the maps for ports and piers piers are harbors and roads roads are channels and every object that might make me fear and i would consider everything that could make me feel afraid of the misfortunes to my ventures misfortunes means the dangers to my ventures means to my business that is the dangers which would be faced by my ships on the sea out of doubt which without doubt or which certainly would make me sad and all these thoughts would definitely make me feel very sad Sal- salarino gives the examples now my wind cooling my broth he says when i would be drinking my having my soup hot soup broth is soup then i would be cooling it by blowing my air onto it it would blow me to an ache now that would make me tremble with fever ache is fever when i thought what harm a wind to great at sea might do when i would think what harm a strong tempest at the sea may bring to my ship but i should think of shallows and of flats and at the same time i would be thinking of the shallow waters and of the flats flats are the sandy banks i would be thinking of the areas of the sea which where the water is very shallow and the sandy banks and see my wealthy andrew and i can imagine my wealthy wealthy means my my big commercial ships well uh, filled up with cargo and do a commercial ships the big ships docked in the sand that is grounded in the sandy banks 
veiling her high top veiling means lowering the top of the mast lower than her ribs ribs much lower than the sides of the ships which are said to be the ribs of the ship to kiss her burial as if to kiss the sand in which the ship would be buried then he go, gives the next example should i go to church he says if i go to the church if i go to the church and see the holy edifice of stone and if over there i see the holy building edifice is the building of the church made up of stone and not bethink me straight and immediately i would think straight is immediately of dangerous rocks of the very big and dangerous rocks which touching but my gentle vessel sides that is the dangerous rocks hidden in the water of the ocean if those dangerous rocks they touch the sides of my gentle vessel of my delicate ship the side of the ship vessel is the ship would scatter all her spices on the stream they would make the ship break and all the cargo of the spices that would be in my ships they would be scattered on the water enrobe the roaring waters with my silk and enrobe means cover and cover the roaring angry waters of the ocean with my silken cloth that would be carried in the ships and in a word in a word means in short even now worth this that just before a moment the cargo was worth so much of money and now worth nothing and after the side of the ship it struck against the dangerous rock it broke down and all the cargo has been scattered on the water now all that cargo is worth nothing at all shall i have the thought if i can have the thought of such a thing happening or to think on this to think think that such a thing happens that if my ship it strikes against the dangerous thought the dangerous rocks if i can think about it and shall i like the thought that such a thing be chanced would make me sad then i can also imagine the grief which the occurrence of such a disaster would cause me i can even imagine that sadness i would feel if such a thing happened but tell me not he says but don't tell me i know antonio is sad to think upon his merchandise he says i know that antonio is sad because he is thinking about his merchandise about his cargo that is being carried on his ships antonio replies believe me no he says please believe me it is not the truth i thank my fortune for it he says i thank my good luck for it my ventures are not in one bottom trusted he says my business ventures is business is not dependent on only one bottom bottom means it is not dependent on only one commercial ship that i own not to one place nor does my business depend on only the one location nor is my whole estate nor is my whole financial situation upon the fortune of this present year nor does my whole financial position depend on the business of this particular year therefore my merchandise makes me not sad therefore my loaded ships do not make me sad salary no why then you are in love he says well then you are in love antonio says fie fie he says nonsense nonsense salarino is a little shocked not in love neither he says you are not in love also then let us say you are sad because you are not merry so he says okay let me give the explanation that uh, you are sad because you are not merry means you are not happy and twer twer means it to twer this apostrophe is for missing i it were as easy for you to laugh and leap so we can say that it would be as easy as for for you to laugh and jump about and say you are merry and say that you are happy because you are not sad just because you are not sad
Now by the two headed Janus. Now we have to do there are many illusions in this. We need to learn who was Janus. Now Janus is a Roman god of doors who had two faces. One face is frowning and the other smiling. One head looking inwards and the other looking outwards. So he is referred to here to indicate that goddess nature it has created two different types of human beings having two different outlooks. So he says now I swear by the two headed Roman god of doors Janus nature hath framed strange fellows in her time. That goddess nature has created hath framed means has created strange men in her time. Some that will evermore peep through their eyes. Some who will always keep smiling and laughing that they will wrinkle their faces when they laugh so that their eyes appear to be peeping out through their sockets. They laugh such a lot that their wrinkles appear on their face and laugh like parrots at a bagpiper and they would laugh loudly and foolishly just like a parrot laughs at a bagpiper. And other of such vinegar aspect and the other type of people have such a sour expression on their faces that they will not show their teeth in way of smile. That they will not even smile at all or show their teeth even though Nestor. Nestor, now Nestor is an old and wise Greek general who fought in the Trojan war. And a joke had to be really really funny if Nestor laughed at it. He says these type of people they never laugh, they never show their teeth in way of laughter even if that great old and wise Greek general Nestor he would swear that the joke be laughable that the jest means the joke is a laughable means is amusing. So I stop over here. I hope you understood. In my next video I will give you the line wise paraphrasing beginning from line number 59. Thank you.